guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming at you with a huge try on haul from Shein. So if you've not heard of Shein before, they are a company that delivers really, really cheap clothes from China, I do believe. They take a while to be delivered. So I ordered all of these things on the 27th of April and they were delivered on the 18th of May. So about three weeks it took to get here, but honestly the things are so cheap. It's like the worth waiting for because it's just such a bargain. So I haven't even opened this bag yet. I haven't looked. I've had it since Monday, today's Wednesday. Let's open it up and have a look at what we've got. Okay, so I'll start with the bits that I can't try on. I got two cushion covers because as you can tell we have furniture now. What a treat. But obviously I needed decorative cushions. I've tried to make the best out of what we've got here, but yeah, next time I might actually have some nice cushions in the background. They're really soft actually, I wasn't expecting them to be the sort of um feel a little bit like towel fabric. But yeah, they're nice. Zips on them. Okay, so for these I paid £2.40 each, so although they don't come with the actual pillows to go inside them, I thought that that was really decent actually for £2.40 each for those. Happy with those. Okay, so next up I got a pack of seven pairs of socks. Because just like when you go to Primark, if you even been shopping if you don't get a pack of socks. Um, so seven pairs of socks and they were £5.19. And there's just like florally ones. They feel like the same sort of quality as Primark socks. And then just a load of plain ones as well. But they'll come in handy, you always need more socks. And then the last one that I won't be trying on, a pack of hair bubbles. These were £2.40 for 12. They're just the um, spirally ones. Just standard. I think they're called telephone wire hair bubbles. But yeah, I use those. I prefer that type of hair bubble in case you cared. Uh, and then the rest of it I will just open whatever's on top. <laughs> so I will say I think I got everything in a size large which they say is a 12 slash 14. Generally in shops I always buy a size 12 um, so we'll see how things sort of size up, size down. We'll just see how it goes. So this is the polka dot tie hem cami top and it was four pounds. It won't really look like much but that bit will tie up. The fabric is sort of like the silky thin fabric, there's no stretch to it at all. It's really thin, really lightweight, thin spaghetti straps. They've got the um, adjustable thing on the straps. Could probably do with an iron but I won't be ironing it before I try it on. But it looks like it would fit so let's try it on. Okay, so this one I really, really like. It is adjustable, although I haven't adjusted the straps. I probably could do too. But it feels more like I'm more covered. Obviously, I need to learn how to tie a proper knot. And you could also wear this with lighter coloured jeans. I don't have any other jeans, these are literally the only pair of jeans I've got and they are far too big for me, but, and so that's why I keep wriggling and pulling them up, so sorry if that's annoying you, but they are too big for me, these jeans. Um, but yeah, I like it. Okay, this is another cami top. Oh, I like this. The fabric is... I think they call it like a 
crepe fabric. I'm not sure, but this fabric's like thicker. Um, and it's that sort of fabric that doesn't crease. Oh, I really like this. So, little story behind why I got this. As you may or may not know, Phil, my other half, is a cricketer. And these are the colours of his cricket club. So I thought, you know, I've got to be cricket wife in September. So I need a top that I can wear to cricket and fit in with the team. So this is a cropped top. As you can see, it'll come down to here. And on the back, it's got a button. You'll probably obviously see this better when I try it on. But it's got a button at the top. And then it ties at the waist. I love this. I need this in as many other colours as it comes in. This is so comfortable. Because this bit is elasticated, it just fits perfectly. This is a solid piece here and then it's gathered in so this is all loose and then obviously you tie it here. The straps are adjustable. Yeah, big fan of this. Okay so next up this is a t-shirt dress and I actually got this in a size extra large because I'm hoping that it's going to be like a really oversized fit. Oh, that looks good. I have a dress similar to this that I got from Boohoo last year and I've just been living in it. But I love the colour, it's so bright. And the back is just got a little keyhole thing and a button there, but my head will probably fit through that anyway. But yeah, I did size up in this one. This is longer than I was expecting it to be. Oh, but I could maybe put a belt around it. I love the colour and the fabric is so nice. It's not see-through at all. The button is really strong. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna like pull off. It's just my fat fingers can't coordinate themselves at the back of my head. But yeah, really, really like it. I would probably wear it with a belt. I'm glad that I sized up though, because I feel like this is the sort of dress that you wouldn't want to be skin tight. Like you would want it to be comfortable and have the option of putting a belt on. But the colour, I love this colour. Okay, so this is one of the cheaper items but this actually feels really nice it's just like a stretchy t-shirt fabric it might be too short let's wait and see so this is the tropical print slip dress and this was only four pounds i liked that it was sort of square across with the thin spaghetti straps. It doesn't look like that kind of t-shirt fabric that goes see-through when you stretch it as well. Hopefully that'll be long enough but if not I mean that would still look really nice like tucked into jeans but let's see how that goes. Okay so this is the cami dress. I have tucked my bra straps in because I would wear a strapless bra with this. Mm. There is nothing wrong with the dress. I just am not sure it's the most flattering thing for me. I don't know if it's because there's just this massive leaf here. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. Okay, so this is another dress. I think this is going to be see-through. So this is all over cherry print cami dress, seven pounds nineteen. This is a completely different fabric to the last one that I showed you. It's just like cotton, but if I hold this up to the light like can you see through that 
Like I can completely just see the camera straight through that. Oh, it has got a zip down the back though. And it works. I really hope it's not see-through. I don't think this is see-through. I really like it. I feel like because it's got the zip as well, like it just fits perfectly. Yeah, I'm a fan. Again, the straps could do to be shortened a little bit, but it has the adjuster on it, so that's just something that I need to do when I actually get around to wearing it. But I would probably wear this I think I'm going to keep this on for the rest of the day now, after I've tried everything else on. Yeah, it's cute. I like it. I'm a fan. Polka dot shade, cami top, and this was £5.59, so it's stretchy. It's got the straps that you tie up on your shoulder, but I was thinking I could maybe wear this strapless just with jeans that was that was me thinking um, and I will try it with the um, with the things tied up because obviously that's how they style it on the website but yes I really like that high hopes high hopes for all of these so far okay so this is the polka dot top I've just put it on firstly without the straps um, this is not the bra that I would wear with it. It's making my boobs a really funny shape, but I do like it. I haven't tucked the straps in at the back. It's a nice length to wear with just plain jeans. It feels like it's not going to fall down because of the elastic in it. It does feel secure. I just need a proper strapless bra on underneath it. Um, this bit is really flattering I feel and um, the way that it's just loose all around here I like that um, so I will just try and tie up the straps Well, they're not the same, are they? Yeah, I think I prefer it without the straps. I feel like they just come out at quite a weird place. It need, does need an iron. But yeah, I do like it. This is a tie back cropped top. It's got like the sweetheart at the front. The fabric is nice, it's fine. I, it doesn't look like it would be see-through. Um, it's maybe not as thick fabric as I was expecting it to be, but it's fine. It's got ruffles on the shoulders. That's really cute. And the back is backless. I don't know what I'm going to do about a bra. Hmm. Let's wait and see. But I really like this. I hope I like this on. This is one that I was like, you know, when you see something on your website, you're like, I need that. That's what this was. I just thought it was so cute. And the little on the shoulders. Oh, cute. Okay, so this is the gingham top on. I will just start by saying I don't think I would wear this bra with it. Um, it's making it a bit sort of loose here and weird. I do also wish it was just a little longer. Not loads, because obviously like I know it's a cropped top. 
but I do just wish that it was a little bit longer. But it is really, really cute. I do like it. I'm just not sure if at this specific moment in time I have the confidence to wear it. But I love the little greeny sleeves. So cute. I do I, I do like it. Oh my goodness, this looks huge. So it's a bodysuit that looks like so long as well, which I suppose is a good thing, you don't want a bodysuit that's really short. It's got the um, adjustable straps, it has poppers on the undercarriage so you can wee easily love that i was worried that it wouldn't have that with it being a cheaper website because this only cost me four pound forty hmm yes let's wait and see but i um the fabric's nice actually the fabric doesn't look like it goes see-through it is that fabric that goes white when you um when you stretch it but i don't think it will need to stretch because it looks huge. So. Okay, I was so wrong about this bodysuit. It fits perfectly. Like, it's maybe a tiny bit big. It's like comfortably big. Um, but it's like, it's not stretching and making the pattern go funny. It just fits perfectly. It's also the right length underneath. It's long enough. It's not pulling. But yeah, the colour and the pattern, I love this. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Ah, oh, cute. So this is just another slip dress. This was £5.59 polka dot bodycon slip dress. Size large again. Just got the spaghetti straps. Um, I really hope these slip dresses are long enough because they do look quite short. Yeah, nothing else to say about that actually. This this fabric doesn't go see through or um, white when you stretch it, so that's good. This feels like a good quality fabric. Like it feels more expensive than like five pound, five pound fifty nine. It feels like thick and strong fabric yeah okay so I've just tucked in the straps in my bra because I would wear a strapless bra with this it is a little bit tight it's not too short but I think if I went for any sort of considerable walk it would probably like pull up a little bit. I do like it. The straps are super duper thin. I tell you what though, this would probably stay up if you didn't have the straps up on your shoulders because it's like the fabric's so like thick, it's holding it up. But yeah, I do like it. I wouldn't size down in it. And then I think this is the last one. So this is the floral print random box pleat cami top. I got this in a size medium, so I sized down in this. I think they didn't have a large, but I liked it, so I risked a medium. Uh, and this was £4.72. So, oh, this is going to need an iron, isn't it? Oh. How annoying. I will get the iron out for this. I don't think this will fit, mate. <laughs> I don't think my boobies will fit in that. But it's elasticated along the back. Um, the pleats are really nice, actually, and the fabric's really nice. It's that sort of silky fabric again that um, the fabric doesn't have any stretch to it. 
but I really liked the colour. I like the um, sort of burgundy colour and the top bit's lined so that bit won't be see-through and then the bottom bit is not so it's just a little bit sort of lighter and more airy. Um, yeah, let's wait and see. I can't get this one on. This one is a no. So it is considerably later on in the day. I put this um, cherry print dress on. Went downstairs to ask Phil if it was see-through while I stood in the garden in full sunlight. Can confirm it's not see-through so that's good. So I hope you enjoyed the haul today. Let me know what your favourite item was and also let me know if there is any other companies that you want me to order from and potentially do a haul from. Um, I am constantly ordering stuff, ordering new clothes. Um, so let me know if there's anything in particular that you want to see. So until next time, thank you for watching.